Okay, so I'm trimming out this window right now. This window frame, I didn't frame this wall here, so unfortunately, this is not actually square. The distance from the wall to where the window is, is different on this side, on this side, at this corner, this corner, this corner, and as well as this corner. So what I've done is I've actually gone and I've made, I've pre-made these window boxes, and these here, they are square. I cut the top and bottom and left and right at the same time, so I know 100% sure that they are gonna go together and have nice, tight, and square corners. Now, what I'm gonna actually have to do is I'm gonna have to fit this window box to a window frame like this that is asymmetrical. Okay, so this is how this window frame sits right here. You can see it's right off the wall, but it is flush actually to the window frame on the left and right. If we look at the side, however, we can see that there's almost like a little over an inch gap that's tapered all the way up. It does the same thing all the way along the window frame. And then on the left side, it's very close to being flush with the wall. Now, what I've seen some people do is they'll go and they'll just run a pencil along here. You can scribe this, but chances are this wall here is not going to be flat. Uh, then you're dealing with the cut edge on this face, which can be good, but if you're not super good at cutting, it might end up needing quite a bit more finish work. So what I'm going to end up doing, actually, is I've got my precision square here. I'm going to set it up, square it out, and push this tight to the wall. That's showing us how much we're off. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the window frame out, and we're going to transfer that measurement we took to the back side of this. I've already pre-done it, so you'll see. But I've gone, I've set it here, and I've just done a mark along here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on all four corners. And like I said, what that's going to do is that's going to give us a point to run a straight edge from point to point. I'm going to go and put a cutting guide on this and just use a handheld circular saw. I'm going to be cutting all around on all four sides and then once we're done with that we're going to end up with a window box that's going to be exactly like this one here and nice and flush to the wall and ready for trim. This is just a cheap cutting guide you can pick up at Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. What I'm doing here is just putting the saw on the points to make sure we're going to be accurate and again since we want to be really accurate I'm just rolling the blade along that line. And this is the final cut here. Okay, so I went ahead and did that on all four sides, and this is how the window box turned out. As you can see, it's nice and flush to the wall, and it's going to make it really easy for us to trim out. The trim fits nice and flush. There's not going to be any sort of gaps we need to fill. We're going to be able to really get our corners nice and clean. And overall, this window box is going to look great when it's finished. I went ahead and pre-cut all the trim pieces just to make it nice and simple and quick for me to put together. I didn't get any pictures of myself nailing the trim actually in because it was a bit difficult to hold the nailer and the camera. I used glue and nails as I find this is the best way to make sure that trim never cracks or separates. And this is how it turned out. It's all been painted, the corners are all nice and tight. And overall, from what we were working with, you can't even tell that it is asymmetrical or that anything was wrong with the window frame. Now before anyone says anything, I am going to replace those ratty old windows that are sitting inside those window frames. It's just it's currently December and it's really, really cold outside in Canada. I'm gonna leave that project for something to do in the spring and I can easily replace those windows from the outside. I am gonna leave links in the description below for the saw I was using, the precision square and the saw guide or any other tools you may need to tackle a project like this. Thanks for watching my video. If you found this helpful, Please like and subscribe so others can find it as well, and I'll see you in the next one.